And that sponge right there. Yep. Oh, getting in close. Oh yeah, still cam can look. So how's the exposure now that we're down here? It's probably overexposed. Um, let's see. Well, it's actually pretty good oh, still. Pretty good. Okay. And a little baby sponge. Oh, do we want to get that one maybe, actually? Uh, the stock? Or no. The caliphagus I saw, but. Where was it? Uh, it was right next to it, um, kind of in that love, that <laughs> love, <laughs> this heart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, There's like a little caliphagus, but I don't know. I know we've been seeing more. If we sample one, we'll, we'll take a bigger, a little okay. chunk of a bigger one, yeah. Okay. I still don't see it. <laughs> I don't still don't oh see yeah, it. Either. There. Oh, there's <laughs> baby tiny. Yeah. Could we actually zoom on that real quick if you have a second? Yeah, I don't go know ahead. if they're getting yanked. No, not yet. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, little colophagus. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Just wanted to check that it wasn't hyalinema or something else fun. Yeah. And a sea star in the background. Okay. Just chilling. That does look like such a symmetrical heart, though. So while we're exploring, uh, I notice everybody, or most people, have stickers and bottles. Uh, anybody like to highlight some of the stickers on your bottles? <laughs> That's an interesting question. Did, did you ask if anyone wanted to? Yeah. Mm. I mean, I have the Temple Grad Student Association Something sticker. Go Grad Student Unions. Oh, let's look at this fish. Ooh, we have a fish. Coming in hot. Another wow. eel, maybe? Um, another ophidid? Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah? That, no, I think that no. that one is maybe... Uh, the head's kind of different. I don't know. That's hard to tell. It might be an ophidid. Oh. Um. No. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're yeah, right. Yeah, good shots Tus of his Tuskeel. head. Tuskeel. Tuskeel. Oh. Pretty. Um, other stickers. My bottle's kind of boring. I, of course, have the Nautilus sticker for this year. I'm not sure where to put my Nautilus sticker, honestly. <laughs> I ran out of room on my bottle. Yeah. I was waiting to get back home. Well, I'll be going back home for a while, but um, <laughs> my mom's shipping my computer to Rhode Island, so I'll probably put it on my computer. <laughs> Whoopi, I think you're Yeah, um, if you could put your mic yeah. a little closer to your mouth. Can you hear me now? Yeah, oh, yeah. that's yeah. better. Oh, uh, yeah. So I said my Nautilus sticker will probably um, go on my computer. On your computer? Mm. Nice. Yes. Good spot. It's right now covered with a bunch of llama stickers, but we could probably... <laughs> places somewhere. <laughs> Fun fact while we're gliding, Loopy had a photo shoot with a llama. <laughs> yes, I did. It was amazing. They're like fluffy giraffes almost, but smaller. But yeah, in terms of stickers, I have quite a few on mine. Many are from uh, national parks. Like I collected Ooh. one from each of the national parks in Utah, and I got big NASA sticker and big band NASA as well as Nautilus. And what I'm really proud of is when I got from Bryce Canyon National Park when I worked there. You get it when you complete something called the I Hike the Hoodoo Challenge. You had to hike at least three miles or you had to find at least three of these benchmark signs throughout the park. And once you find those, you gotta take a picture of yourself with them or you can have like a 
little etching of the benchmark there. You can bring it back to the visitor center and your prize is a Box sticker crinoid. or a pin. I think it's a crinoid on a dead sponge stock. Oh. You want to see it? Uh, zoom on it? Yeah, we could look real quick. Why not? Nothing, nothing <laughs> else to be running <laughs> off to. <laughs> <laughs> nothing else to see. <laughs> this uh, rock terrain is cool, though. It is cool. Yeah. All those uh, crusts oh. on their botryoyal. Okay, go ahead and zoom. Nice. This one looks like a palm tree. <laughs> it does look like a palm tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it kind of works out perfectly that it's transitioning from white to yellow, and then there's the yellow crinoid on top. It's great. All right. Thank you for hey. our deep sea palm tree. Very fun. What about you, Leela? I see you got a lot of stickers on your bottle. I Any do have a lot of stickers on my bottle. You've been um, to some cool places. Yeah, I've got, <coughs> let's see. This was, so this is my Antarctica water bottle from when I was uh, working there and so I have a bunch of Antarctica stickers from that time. I'm trying to see if there's one that I want to highlight. Uh, one is of a an emperor penguin that my friend designed and had waiting for me when I got back from Antarctica. She gave me this sticker that she had designed. She has also been to Antarctica and she's a penguin researcher. <laughs> and, oh my uh, gosh, And that's she made awesome. this sticker. So I like that one a lot. The other ones, you know, I, other people have got them too, but that one's that one's special and unique. Oh, yeah. that was nice. That's a nice one. Cute. The stickers I have on my cup are the ones that we got this year of like Kirk and Atlanta. Oh yeah, I like those ones, the OECI so ones. Those yeah, are good. Those I need to decorate ones. my mug with those. So yeah, and then my little name tag sticker. <laughs> Cute. Okay, back over some rocks. Okay, maybe see small stuff. How's the current up here, Hannaford? Is it w w picked back up a lot? It's increasing. Yeah, so okay. it's not too bad yet, but yeah, I think. Uh, but this one might not be as high as the other one. Okay. Like we're almost at the top. Yeah, yeah, it seems like we're just so about it's still there. manageable. And then from there, I think it stays, sorry, there you're good. flat for a while. <laughs> and I guess it slowly s slopes up then after waypoint two. Yeah, so maybe next time we see a balasoma, we get it. Uh, what? Sorry. Keep keeping in mind that we were interesting in sampling, in, interested in sampling a balsamic sponge, but we'll see. Yes. We'll see when when that comes oh, yeah. up again. Yeah. 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 Oh, you have the checklist, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't, the eDNA sampling is more focused around coral, so we, I don't know, yeah. haven't, haven't yeah, had yeah, yeah. an inkling to do that yet. No. And we've got this a rock from lower down, probably wait till we're a bit higher for another rock. Yeah, this is really <coughs> cool rock structure though. Can you zoom this one in a little bit more? I think okay. we've been I over mostly botryoidal texture this whole time. Yeah. And sediment. <laughs> and sediment. Lots of sediment. Lots of that.
So, Leva, what would you suspect is the, uh, uh, say, origin or cause of this particular geologic feature here? Like, it oh, looks you're like the a geologist. You feel free to take <laughs> that. Uh, I mean, I can I can answer it, but I I think you'll probably be more eloquent. But I'm happy to. Yeah. So my thinking was that well, pretty much most of this is like igneous rock like basalt with the uh, ferromanganese crust on. And the crust, you know, mainly forms like a botryoidal looking features, which botryoidal for those in the chat basically means like a uh, grape-like. So think of just a bunch of grapes. That's literally what it means. And how earlier we saw features that looked very hummocky like and I was doing a little research and that is common in all volcanic slopes. So mm -hmm. after like eruptions or a uh, fissure of magma or lava seeps out, sometimes that causes a uh, landslide that Ooh. causes everything to Shrimp. form that lumpy texture. And that's might be what we see here, kind of the remains of all that after it's eroded away. That's my best estimate. Yeah, and part of the reason that we're here just on a like larger scale is to, I think there might be maybe like an animal right here we can uh, take a look at since we're, but maybe I'm making that up and that's rock, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now that see? we're turning around it, I'm pretty sure it's a rock. Um, I think it's just rocks. It's, yeah. it's a rock, <laughs> never mind. Rock or fish. <laughs> <laughs> larger, larger scale Sediment geologically, uh, part of the reason that we're here is to investigate the geologic origins of these seamounts. Um, there are a number of, of prominent seamount chains throughout the central Pacific, uh, a larger Pacific, um, formed by, well, ever evolving how they were formed, but at a basic level by hotspots. And, and, you know, most familiar of which is the Hawaiian Island chain which then extends much further to the northwestern Hawaiian Islands that are uninhabited and, and eventually not above water, really. <laughs> and then um, and the, then Emperor, the Emperor Seamount chain eventually. But near, we're currently near the Line Islands uh, chain. And there's kind of some um, confusion about how these were formed because if, if it was by a hot spot with a plate moving over it, then each successive seamount would be a little bit uh, older than the next one if you were to go down and age them in a line. But that's not the case here. They're kind of mixed up, especially in this section uh, of the seamount chain. They're kind of mixed up with younger and, and older. Ooh. So. These seamounts formed somewhere between like 60 and 80 million years ago. And uh, yeah, we're trying, it's another McCrurid fish like the one we saw earlier, yeah. Um, and yeah, so we're trying to, to add a bit more resolution to that. These are also called rat tails. Very fun. And also a lot of what we see here are uh, pillow, uh, uh, shucks, I forget to name, pillow basalts and sheet flows. So when lava is extruded out of, uh, from within the earth and it goes into the water, instead of just spreading out like we might see on land, it's uh, cooled rapidly by the water surrounding it. So you get these big lumps that just start to bubble out and that's where you get a lot of this lumpy texture as well. I'm pretty sure that earlier one was this one, the Corypheinoides. Hmm. The two most common, at least in other areas, have been the Corypheinoides and the Kumba, which is like a really tiny, cute version of it. Mm -hmm. Let me see, yeah, this one. Aww. Isn't that adorable? I love those.
we are just cruising along. Yeah. Yep. Pretty much. So for those of you who are just tuning in, welcome aboard the exploration vessel Nautilus. We are here in the Central Pacific Ocean exploring an unnamed seamount right outside the Pacific Rim Islands Marine National Monument, but within the exclusive economic zone of the United States. We are about 2,290 meters below the ocean surface. Now in this dive, we are coming back down to an area that we attempted to early in the day. We had to relaunch after uh, technical difficulties that we had here on, our, on board our ship, but once we were able to fix that, we were able to relaunch. Shane, how close are we to the sort of next upward feature? Um, it's a good question. So, so we're we're pretty much on top of this one, so we should be going down again, and then like a brief little down, right? Yeah, and then down, 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 and then picks up. Yeah, we're actually going to be going down for quite a while. Are you sure? Really? Let me double check because my brain's not working super quickly, but... I think on... At least on the, um, on the cross section of the dive track, it looks like it should be either flat or up. I think that that is all like the, yeah, the red is higher. So as we get into orange and then red, that'll, uh, those are up. I'm reading. Really? Yeah. You're right, the, never mind. <laughs> yes, we, we are a little bit down and then we're gonna start going up again. So how far are we from the up? <laughs> I'm, I only ask because I'm wondering if yeah. we might want to scooch, scooch a wee bit faster past the uh, large sandy field that is probably at the top or in between those two. Yeah, I'm having us kind of skirt yeah. it. So we should maybe like 100 meters. Okay, okay. 200 meters. Great. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. All good up there, front row? Yeah, we're just trying to figure out if we could get that pilot camera back on, but uh -huh. we don't know how. Which so. one's the pilot camera? It's up on the bumper oh, burn. It looks down is, at the porch. Oh, it's one of the side triclops cameras. Yeah, so yeah. I'm just lamenting the fact that, like, uh, I guess in the rebuild, like, we used to use the bubble cam for that. Yep. But now it's our gauge camera. Right. It's not really good form to take that off the gauges. Right. So it's like, it's a little bit annoying flying around. I don't have a pilot camera, so right. when we're landing, I don't really know exactly where the, it is. But the, the one that the, they ha that Dan has got set up, it's through the through the network. It is awesome, but the computer's been rebooted, and I don't oh, think we can figure it out here. It. It's nice. If you had a login, I see it. Yeah, like if I, if anybody can play with it, but I don't know if... Uh, if there's credentials to log into it or if it's yeah okay i'll poke at it mm, it's probably not in our logs what the credentials are where's oh it Amber's, might be Amber's just push looking. enter i don't know but when we throw it up up here we're just looking at the screen so it wants a pin oh okay so oh I'll, I'll try something <laughs> nope okay
Oh, I need sugar or something. I am fading. I would offer you those gummy snacks, but me I and Sarah really killed agree. it. <laughs> I ate a singular gummy bear. <laughs> okay. uh -huh. Let's not get too wild here. Oh, we all, we all share the blame. <laughs> Although I did get a little hungry. I was about to say, you <laughs> said, hey, do you want this last gummy bear? And I said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but usually I bring some stuff up, but I'm trying to think about my well-being. <laughs> Can't constantly be eating. Mm, a little snack never hurts. Very true. Until it's all the time. <laughs> yeah, and then becomes a meal. Speaking huh. of meals, what's everybody's favorite meal of the day so far on our ship? Avocado. Oh, yeah. Favorite meal on the ship this cruise, you said? So yeah, far? like your favorite dish or favorite time of day the to borscht eat? Borscht is also oh, incredible they have it. Um, the Porsche is really good. I'm more of a breakfast person, but I be asleep during breakfast, so. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, we're all asleep during breakfast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We better be. So. I just, I wish breakfast had more protein, but they do, they do try. But I don't know, I guess like I'm not, I, I'm not an American breakfast person. <laughs> I gotta always save sleep. the beans from the night before. Oh yeah, <laughs> and you gotta True. bring barbecue sauce. <laughs> <laughs> save the beans. Yeah. I always sleep on the days they have crepes, and it always mm. disappoints me. I love crepes. We're thanks for swiveling summer. around and looking, Hannaford. <laughs> Sorry, what? I said thanks for swiveling. I see you're swiveling around to try and like you know see if there's anything Sorry. to see. <laughs> Do something. Do something. Yeah. I wonder how like much is in the sediment that we're not seeing. Yeah, what's living in the sediment? Yeah. Push core sample maybe. <laughs> well, <Whoa>, sharks. <laughs> we have not had much luck with this sand so far. Push core sampling. It's. Most of them have not been recovered very fine. No, they either they like it's sand. either a millimeter thick or it's just like that that old magic sand. Yeah, that you just get it wet and then you take away. it out in a spoon and it's like completely dry. Dust. You know? Yeah, <laughs> just more it, it won't stay in the cores. No, sad. Also, yeah. with the way we process the cores. Something yeah, about how the fine the sand camp. is. It it uh it, it like like we use basically it looks like Ooh. some kind of a plunger it's to push to extrude something. the core from the bottom yeah. upward. Yeah. yeah. But it gets Little stuck glint. with all the fine sand. Looks like a something. Mm -hmm. Saw it shining. Yeah. Think there's any way we can improve on that design? Take samples. Go ahead and zoom in. Yeah, well, it's a matter of what you want it to be good for. We've got the one. Oh, oh no, it's a beer can. Oh. Oh. It's a. Is that a PBR? It's a PBR. 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 Yeah. Okay. That's terrible. No it's way. terrible, but also no. funny. Okay. Wow, it's fully intact. It's like beautiful looking. Sunken down. <laughs> I cannot believe that. Nice. Yeah, it looks actually commercial. like it doesn't even look old. Yeah, good picture. Of that. Um, okay, it's we the have wrong kind of advertisement. So we have Loopy. Mm -hmm. Oh uh, look, I'll a log it. But under observation, oh, yeah, there's yeah. debris yeah. trash. Oh. Yeah. So cute. And we can log that there. I think this is our first yeah. trash of the expedition. Yeah, I don't think we've seen any wow. besides that so far. Gosh. Do you want me to put like a point down on high pack? Uh -huh. <laughs> Sh sure. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> trash. Yeah. Did PBR they find trash like a, lighting. A red solo cup in like yeah. the Mariana's <laughs> trench or something. Yeah. <laughs> That's disgraceful. No. It is crazy. I've seen that before. That was magnificently terrible. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, yes, exactly. You know, you think you're like, there's whatever. There's no way it's gonna reach the deep oh, sea. This Here is the we deepest are. Place. What's that? Oh, it's one of our cups. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Here we are at 2,286 meters deep with a fully intact sunken PBR can. <laughs> this is why it's important to leave no trace, folks. LNT. Oh, we have a star. Another maybe Brazingid. Oh, yeah. Brazingid, yep. Take a look. Let's see. But I didn't know I could get a city wide all the way out here, <laughs> which is a Philly drink Go special. ahead and zoom. <laughs> Makes you feel at home, doesn't There's it? There's a lot of action <laughs> in the winch room tonight. What's going on down there? I know. I saw them walking around. Big party. I know that the cameras have been glitching. Oh. Did we see one of these see. earlier that was like drooped over the rock? Yeah. Uh, yes, we, we did. did see a yes. presented earlier. Yeah. This one looks a lot happier. <laughs> um, yeah. Actively feeding. <laughs> it's eating. Good zoom. Thank you. These sea stars remind me of um, this carnivorous plant called a sundew, and it has these long leaves with these little tentacles almost that have these dew drops, and they're sweet, and they'll attract flies, but the flies get trapped in the dew, and then the leaves curl up onto the fly, and they slowly digest it. I always thought that was cool. I wish I could be a plant person, but I really just don't get it. Just don't get plants? Like, <laughs> not not in the sense of taking care of what them. I don't either. I've it. killed every plant I've ever owned. <laughs> um, yeah, same. But just like not botany, sure. you know? I no. wish I could understand. They're so cool, but I, I don't know. It's easy. Just plant a seed and watch it grow. Make sure you water it. You might get an apple if you're lucky. I'm just proud How that my How fast have we been calling them these ship moves, Cheyenne? Are they point two? <laughs> yep, they're point two okay. knots. Explain to me, what is a winch? What is a winch? What's a winch? The <laughs> actual literal definition of a winch? Uh, I don't know, like a... a drum that you have a cable or rope on that is powered that move you know you you carry a load on it you roll it you move it in or out you haul it in or you pay out you can find a winch like on the front of a truck or a jeep mm. to help get it out of the ditch there's a winch great big winch that uh in the hold of the ship here that the vehicles are attached to it's directly attached to atlanta oh. so when atlanta goes up and down sarah is actually moving the it's a big machine yeah. big hydraulic winch mm. goes in and out rolls the cable in and out mm. cool I think the party's over down there they still yeah. down there uh, <laughs> I think yeah they were a second ago there. saw Sergey in there The party is definitely over for us right now, or at least yeah. all we can see. Oh, we still got two hours. We're, the party's <laughs> still on. Also, not to, you know, that's right, there's still two hours after this, but if the board is to be believed, we'll get the full remaining shift at noon tomorrow, uh -huh. and that'll be a lot shallower. Yeah, that'll right. be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You're right. On one of the, so let's see, what what's the depth on that? <laughs> let's look what we got ahead of us. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be much closer to prime interesting coral zone. So that'll be mm. yeah. promising. Are these the nodules again? I don't think so. Also, update on what we saw last night. Oh, right. We were trying to crack those open. Yeah. And nodules usually verdict? crack fairly open. Not crackable. Not they don't nodules. Think nodules. Oh. It's so hard because it looks like they a giant nodule field. Yeah. Even though they weren't super round and the nodules are kind of usually rounder, it's so hard to tell. Yeah. Yeah. But it wasn't, I guess. Mm -hmm. Just yes. pebbles with crust. <laughs> See, you were trying to crack it open, but you got to lick it to get to the center. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> like a Horrible. Lollipop. That would taste so bad.
Mm. Mm. The Heavy metals. Mm. Biofouling. <laughs> oh, sea star on that rock. Sea star, you said? Yeah. Oh, Just where was rock, it? The rock we passed. I don't know if you can go back a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, it was like super. No, no, you no. You don't have to. I think there's a coral in the distance. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is, a, that, a is that a rock or a coral? Was I think that's a coral. So oh, like my gosh. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe a Chrysogorgia. Yeah, Chrysogorgia. Yeah. We got one, folks. Oh, we, my gosh. We and there's got a little a red stocky thing near it, too. Yeah. Ooh. Probably a shrimp. Or a shrimp, yeah. Oh. Wow. I like how it's just tucked under there so neatly. <laughs> Go ahead and zoom. Ooh, we got a little brill star there too. Oh yeah. Oh, you can see it moving. Oh, that's cool. Oscuroid associate. Wow, really creeping around in there. What Having a party. What kind of, how you spell the name of this again? Um, C Christ H. Like Chrysler. Uh huh. And then the O. Okay. O. Gorge. Without the E. Gorgia. I, I, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. That's good. Thank you. So pretty. Okay. Full wide, please. I wonder if that uh, red thing in it. I know. Did we think that's a shrimp or did we think that's a jelly? I thought about that after. I don't know. I know there's a little shrimp peeking on the rock right there. Oh, yeah. Having a little look. Could we uh, keep we out ahead in case there's anything, <laughs> in case sure, we come yeah. across anything discernible? Yeah, yeah, I wonder if we're not in sponge land anymore. Where are the sponges? Come back. Another fish. Another rat tail. Yep. So somebody in the chat suspected that beer can we found may have been from the 60s or 70s based off the tab so based on the tab <laughs> yeah like oh the wow they got a good look at it <laughs> <laughs> oh really I guess, I guess they have the benefit of going back and pausing right yeah or at least they said there have been let's see like the logo looks so new cans from the 60s and 70s or older oh is that what the what that's a 70s can could have been Someone was trying to date it, but I feel like I feel like that would have looked would have looked different in the seventies. The logo. I mean, well, yeah. some it could have been recent. Who uh, knows? Th those cans usually look very. As I was say, this can looks a little. This it looked like a newer can, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it could have been a newer can. I don't know though. But I didn't I didn't look that hard. So. Who am I? They're Who the paused I ones. It's just I don't really PBR. drink that beer anyway. But here on the EV Nautilus, we officially do not endorse any alcoholic drinking, especially underage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> we do not have alcoholic beverages on Nautilus, though. I will yep. say that. Can't be behind the wheel of Hercules with a beer in the hand. <laughs> Oh, sure just coffee. One coffee per per watch. What about a, what about you a don't PBR? know what's in my cup. <laughs> <laughs> what about a PBR in claw? <laughs> but maybe root beer or ginger beer is okay. I love ginger beer. Moscow Mule fans rise I'm up. I'm sorry, sorry, that sounds so nasty. 
Nope. What'd you say? I said that sounds so nasty. No, it's, 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 it's delicious. It's so delicious. Good. Okay, Trust all right. Me, it's not Just don't like drink it too fast because it'll make you cough really bad. <laughs> it's not it's like spicy. the candies. But it's good. Yeah, I love a good Moscow mule. But, um, but yeah. Not on this cruise. Not on this cruise. <laughs> nope. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, does it rip? Oh, it does rip. I wonder if I'm getting ASMR on the microphone. Wait, hold on. I got you. You're welcome, daughter. <laughs> Opening her cliff bar because her thumb is out of commission. <laughs> nope. <laughs> is, it, is it that you don't have feeling in it? Or it's just kind of uncomfy, like, does, can't use it. Yeah, it's... Okay, you know, the pins and needles when you're... When Ew. something falls oh, asleep. That Ew. It's like that, but constantly, all oh, day long. Down oh. And it feels really bad when you then actually try and when use you it. You like, know when you try and yeah. stand on your leg when you yes, have pins and needles, yes. you're like, my leg doesn't work. It's yeah. like that. Oh, no. Sorry to hear. I'm sorry, it's just so funny seeing Atlanta, like, just get thrown around on camera. <laughs> Atlanta, like, just, Getting Atlanta's when it's just, like, moving around. <laughs> Bobbing for apples. But yeah, it's looking pretty desolate out here from a macro scale. <laughs> We're about 50 meters from the slope. We're okay. almost there. Hooray! Yay! So, so we have viewers tuning in from all around the world, and we can see that we have people tuning in from Places like Iran, Portugal, Romania, United Kingdom and Norway, Australia, Italy. And of <laughs> course, we have many people in the United States, all over the country watching, ranging from the west to east coast, all the way from Maine to Florida, from Kansas to Washington. Nice. And I think, I mean, Hi, everyone. <laughs> I would assume that the person from Iran is one of my relatives. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. It means a lot. Yep. Many of the folks aboard our ship come from all walks of life all around the world. We have people from all over the U.S. who are of uh, many different ethnicities and backgrounds, as well as people from other countries like Honduras, Panama, uh, Ukraine, and Peru, other places. So we take talent from anywhere. So if you're interested in a career with working with us on Nautilus, no matter where you are, if you have the skills to pay the bills for us, <laughs> whether that's <laughs> joining our cook crew, joining our crew like with the chefs or to uh, run the engine room or as a navigator there are positions open I don't know if it's because it's 2 a.m. but that was yeah. really funny <laughs> <laughs> I like that I'm gonna take that Daniel that's good a good line. one <laughs> skills to pay the bills yep. good one. my friend told me a, 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 a similar but for a different uh, what is it uh, Something about uh, the effort you put in this. Oh, the juice has to be worth the squeeze. Yeah, <laughs> I like that's that a good one. Too. So good. <laughs> Speaking of squeezed juice, I'm mean, looking forward to a freshly squeezed orange juice whenever we get a chance to go to breakfast. <laughs> it's delicious. I also just, after these shifts, I cannot be bothered to get up for a 7.30 a.m. breakfast. Oh, no. Oh no, no, on this watch, not. I, I never, no. hit, never Nev see breakfast. Never no. do breakfast. During the REM cycle, <laughs> can't yeah. do it. 
I think the one yeah. good thing about this watch is that we the have time to thing. watch the sunsets in the evening. Yeah. Oh, I think it's a great feature of this watch. You can watch mm -hmm. the sunsets and uh, and stars before watch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On a good day. Yep. I wanna I wanna have I don't know if it's possible, but if everyone knew and consented, if we had a night where we would turn off some of the lights to like look at the stars. Yeah, that's a uh, a bridge question. Some mm -hmm. of the yeah. officers are fine having less on. Yeah. Sometimes, some, if some everyone knew and consented for safety purposes, but okay. I feel like that'd be really cool. See I see all the gone stars. Up top a couple times, and the lights have been off out back, and it's really? just been absolutely incredible. Yeah. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh! Stop! Now I want to see it now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, living in Utah, I, s I would see uh, almost every night that was clear. Just. Uh, Big white band just streaking across the sky, full of stars. It was breathtaking. City life has blinded me. <laughs> I see nothing. Yeah, city folk just don't get it. But it's okay. Um, Cheyenne and <coughs> Hannaford, for my reference. Uh, I feel like we usually go point two, but in sections like this, where we're kind of like, we know this is going to be flat for a while. Is there, do we still like to go point two? Is there a reason we don't kick uh, it up a little? Or we're doing point three. We're doing point three right now? Or are we only doing point two? We're doing, we're doing point, point two. two. Um, oh, the they're, they're fluctuating. I just see yeah. point three there, sorry. Yeah, the captain wanted point two. He wants to see point two. That was, that was when the weather was really bad. Okay, I can, got it. I can ask and see if they'd be comfortable doing point three uh, since the winds are pretty light right now. Okay, I think point two will be good coming up, but that it might be nice to know if we could go a tweensy bit uh, faster at the next plateau. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with point three generally. And like, yeah, for the plateau, point five is fine, but like now we're almost at the end. Yeah. Sometimes by yeah. the time you get that in there, yeah, it makes all the layback. It's yep. I'm appreciating all of the zigzags. We've been doing a lot of tacking through this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or looking just, at our track is I like just zigged when I, I zigged when I should have zagged and <laughs> got on the end of the tether there for a minute. <laughs> We're really trying out here. Mm-hmm. All right. People on SPL, ask ask us questions. Keep us awake. Yep. Do oh, something. Yeah. Falling yep. asleep. Yeah, you all saying you love our conversation at 2 a.m. more than 2 p.m. So, Aww. yeah. Thanks. Keep just the a, conversation rolling. Just a little more delusional. <laughs> yeah, pretty slap happy out here. <laughs> Stuff definitely just hits different. <laughs> I, I like the midnight shift it's vibe. It's just like this is just a bit bleak, right? But yeah. 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 I don't mind the time of day. Like if it's exciting, I'm I, I don't get tired during this. Mm -hmm. It's no. just when you're when it's the middle like of the night <laughs> and you're like sand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sand. It gets, look at those angular it's rocks. Coarse and rough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It gets broken up too. Like when you're doing samples, it might take tw it might take 15 minutes to do a sample, right? Right. It just breaks yeah. it up. So we are trying to go to 0.3 knots right now and testing it out, see how the ship does, but. Leela, when do you think we should take another rock sample? Sorry, you're eating, take your time. <laughs> yeah, um, you can look at the, let's see what depth were we at, that was Should've right at the base. Should have taken a sponge, but we didn't and it's okay. Yeah, that's right. It's hard to predict, and also, you know, if you're not in the for position sure. for it when it, uh, when the moment is there, then yeah. rocks are pretty quick and easy. Rocks you don't need a ton of time to yeah. a rock. <laughs> Let's see. We were at 24-ish to start, back, and now we're at 23-ish. I don't think we need to take yeah. one yet. Okay. How far? I'd probably think about it like closer to waypoint three. How shallow are we going? 
Uh, up to 1850-ish. Oh. oh, wow, okay. Yeah, so we'll give it a bit more time. Mm -hmm. Unless we see something interesting really cool. change in geology or, uh, or get yeah. a bit shallower, yeah. So has there been any times where we had to retrieve Hercules or any of our other RVs from the uh, ocean floor? Oh, I mean. yeah. <laughs> that stuff happens occasionally. Yep. But not on our watch. No. Well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. Yeah. No wood to knock on over here, so careful, buddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we got plenty of wood to knock on. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah. You do anything long enough, you know. Uh, this is not. <laughs> yeah. Any other questions? <laughs> <laughs> Next. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along. Look at this rock. <laughs> yeah. Sand. <laughs> <laughs> So here's an interesting one. What's the most interesting deceased thing we found? Deceased thing? Yeah. This one. So like Ooh, a whale, whale falls. falls are yeah, probably the, the most is interesting that deceased in things the, that come right across. The, <laughs> the whale fall off of. Uh, Where is that? Mm, Southern Ca or, or the uh, yeah. California one? Yes, a couple of years ago. I, that one with the, that with awesome. the octopus everywhere, yeah. right? It's the ball of soma to the right sample. Where? Uh, no, I'm, we're not going to sample unless it's a bigger one because we only I, take a little chunk. No, not this one to oh. the right. But this is a. That's dead. something on a dead stock again. I think that's a, think a, a fly, fly trap anemone on a dead but stock. It, yeah. Hmm. Did you see one off in the distance? I saw one yeah, to the it's right. Like, yeah, they shift to the right? After this, yeah. Yeah. We can. Yeah, we can move along. Go straight you, to the You sponge. don't want to zoom? Where's yeah. the sponge? We know what the, to, the right, to the right, apparently, right. out of the frame. Up I don't to the see right. it in Atalanta, but I saw it. Um, the people say that it's there. The people say it is. <laughs> you got it. Well, Look, you're, you're I'm going not that forward. Delusional. You got to go backwards. <laughs> uh, yeah, backwards. Sorry. Backwards? Yes. Yeah, it's like backwards. Backwards into the right. I'm sorry. Aww. I saw it like right when it was going out of frame. I think it's going to be out of our. <clears throat> oh, uh, uh, right there. Reach probably. She's like. <laughs> there. That one? Oh, yeah. Too tiny. You want to sample this? No. No. No? How big are we looking? I think the, the you know, like when they're more than 20 centimeters or so, you okay. usually end up getting a pretty decent chunk when you do, when you take okay, with the cool. manipulator. Those. No? No. Uh, no. Okay. Just kidding. But we're seeing them. <laughs> we are seeing sponges again. So that's good. So there are people who are also curious about uh, which ROVs we use on which uh, dives, and on this one we're using Atalanta, but we also have Argus stored aboard our ship. Uh, why are we not using Argus on this dive? You want it? I could not hear over. Uh, why are we oh. using Argus? I, I mean, why are we using out. Atalanta on this dive versus Argus? Well few reasons. Atalanta is newer and it's just opportunity to get it in the water and dive time on it. Um, and uh, we, can, we could use Argus, uh, but um, Argus is bigger and heavier and we're going pretty deep on some dives here. So that the deeper dives that makes gets us closer on to our limit for tension on the wire. So that that weighed into the decision to use uh, Atlanta, but I guess it's a mix of those two mainly. But it is, it is newer and it needs this kind of time in the water to see if there's issues with it or work the bugs out. Yeah, get its sea legs. Exactly. Yeah. So the ship was doing good at point three knots, so I'm just gonna keep it at sure. point three knots. Uh, let me know if there's like an interesting section. It's hard to tell. <laughs> what, what, maybe this next 1.3 and we'll see if it gets interesting after yeah. that. It's the only hope. <laughs> or are we at the base of something? I can't tell. 
it feels so hopeless here, you know, but in the deep sea, sometimes <laughs> it changes really fast, and then you're like, it's a ridge. Point three that. is probably fine, yes. Um. It's nice to see the bird's eye view from Atalanta. Yeah. Yeah. So here's a question for everybody. What, so, um, oh, are we about to say something? I was about to ask real uh, quick, in, a, in the meso tech. Oh, what's that you're after? Sorry. Coral. Uh, something there? Yes. I think a chrysogorgid, but right. Uh, oh, oh sorry. Right. I mm -hmm. see. I think I see. Yeah, little tiny. Yeah. In the mesotech zone, are what the red lines are, is that 10 meters? Uh, depends on one you're looking at. The one on the left, left is 10 yeah. meters, 10 or meters. 20 meters, sorry, that's that's Atalanta's. Okay, each red line is 20 meters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is that a is that the slope we're looking at? Okay. Yes, okay. yeah. So that, what you see there so is a pretty benign so slope. There's not yeah, much to that. not much, okay. Yes, point Go three sounds zoom in. great, Cheyenne. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Actually, I'm pretty far away. Just come wide and I'll scoot up there. Uh, I mean, that was good enough view. We, we've, good we've got some time. We've oh. yeah. not much to look at. That's Might very as well. true. Good old. They're so pretty. I do like them a lot. They look like dust bunnies to me. <laughs> Tumbleweeds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so my question from earlier is... Uh, does anybody have any, say, movies, documentaries, shows about the ocean that you yes. recommend? Oh, that's a good question. Um, oh. uh, I like Blue Miracle. What was that? Blue Miracle. Oh, I don't even know that one. Blue uh, Miracle. Yeah, go ahead and zoom in a bit. It's on Netflix. Uh. It's a um, pretty good movie. Um, it's, like, based off of... Uh, <laughs> Oh, a so real small. event where um, I forgot what year, but they used they did like a competition. Uh huh. Um, it was like a fishing competition to catch a blue marlin. Okay. And stuff, and so um, basically, an old time fisherman who um, oh, there's a in there. Um, oh yeah. Oh. He won. I guess the competition like Good, twice, thank you. two years okay. in a row. Oh, the shrimp. And um, yeah. I'm listening, Loopy. What's it called? Um, why so is yeah, that? He uh, just a s why? Oh no, you guys can go on. Okay. Um, <laughs> he kind of like um, left his family behind to try to like win it for the third time. Oh wow! Well. But it's also this? like um, showing. Another family where this guy, he kind of has his own, like, um, an orphanage, kind of, uh -huh. where he um, houses kids um, off the street and stuff, but they're, like, kind of going through it as, like, about to lose their build building and stuff, so uh -huh. they kind of, um, they enter the competition with the guy. Oh, okay. So it's, like, um, they're competing to see who can... Basically catch the biggest marlin. Interesting. Um, it's a really good movie. Where does it take place? Um, let me see. Is this mm -hmm. Yep. Also, Steve is back. Steve, yeah. Welcome yeah. back. Hello, oh, and we Steve. keep saying Steve. I feel like we keep forgetting to mention who Steve is. Steve you know, is one Steve. of our, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Steve is one of our scientists ashore, Steve Oskovich, Dr. Steve Oskovich. He is one of our um, coral experts, well, invert experts, but lots of coral. He knows lots of coral, and he helps us with our IDs. Yeah, and we are very grateful for him. Um, was the question about marine documentaries? Yep, documentaries or like, or just movies, TV shows. So like marine fiction, nonfiction, mm -hmm. anything with the ocean. Hmm. Blue Planet. Blue Planet's a good one. Yeah. Blue but which one? They have a watched Blue that Planet, one. Blue Planet Two. All of them, any of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how I learned about the oceans at first, just watching that. 
David Attenborough has a legendary voice. Um, Another good documentary is uh, the uh, My Octopus Teacher. Oh, yeah, so that one, a bunch I have of that one downloaded on the ship right so now. I've good. never seen it. That's I need to watch, watch that. Yeah, love that one. Oh, but Lila, to answer your question, it was um, based off in Dominican Republic. DR, mm. cool. Yes. Hmm. All good with the uh, mango arm? I think you're muted, Henny. Well, it's got a little droopy valve and it droopy. fell down over time, I think. Mm. Do you have any ideas, Sarah? What arm is that? Um. Oh, that's okay. No, but okay. there's got to be some out like there. Checking, checking my I'd be really interested to see if there's... Checking what? If anyone has any suggestions or like even like YouTube videos or something, but I'm always curious to learn more about um, indigenous Pacific <laughs> Islander practices <laughs> for the ocean. I find that really interesting. Like their uh, history of like navigation and everything. That's really cool. But I don't have anything off the top of my head. No. Yep. I'd say a really good documentary about understanding the effects of uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, <laughs> nuclear testing in the Pacific Ocean is, uh, believe it or not, SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh my yeah. god! <laughs> oh, I'm just we've kidding. got a big SpongeBob fan <laughs> in our <laughs> head. I grew up All on SpongeBob. <laughs> All roads lead to SpongeBob. Yeah. Before I even knew I yep. wanted to be a marine scientist. <laughs> yeah. I changed my answer. My favorite documentary is SpongeBob. SpongeBob <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. What? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking more Nemo or Finding Dory. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I was a Nickelodeon gal. I can't lie. I didn't really watch a lot of Disney in my childhood. I didn't grow up with any of those. We did not <laughs> have a TV. And we, uh, when we, we did for a little while, but only with the 13 channels. Mm. So I grew up only on like, you know, Cyber Chase and yes. Arthur and Dragon Tales. Oh yeah, PBS Kids. PBS, yes. I was a PBS kid. I like PBS. So our current ship driver also said his favorite is SpongeBob. So <laughs> was this Oriel <laughs> said that? Yeah, Oriel <laughs> said Oriel said his favorite documentary <laughs> is SpongeBob. <laughs> I'm not sure if you heard the part about documentaries. <laughs> I think you just heard the part about SpongeBob. He has SpongeBob socks, and actually I do really? too, and I forgot them. Oh, oh, man. Shout out to Janita for giving me those. Yeah, shout out to all these goofy goobers who are watching SpongeBob. Oh, it was literally yes. like him in the bubble bowl doing like goofy goop, like the goober rock performance. <laughs> I always think about that episode, and I'm just thinking, this whole time, these fish are like, these are some ugly-looking fish. I bet we're in one of those toxic <laughs> waste dumps. <laughs> the bubble cam. Um, the bubble Michael. Bowl. Yes? How do you feel about, is point three feeling better now? How do you feel about point four? I don't know, like, how ahead you are, or if you... I don't uh, imagine. Uh, that you're well, if you go point four, point five, and when, when you want to stop and sample, it's going to be tricky. Yeah, yes, of course. I don't, <laughs> it's so hard to imagine that time coming, but I know I need to plan for it. You can do it. I, I mean, you can go for it. Maybe try point four with the next move if Bridge is willing. Yeah, yep, and I'll check. It does look like, you know, where it gets steeper, kind of below three. It's I would gonna get, go back. It's just going to get speedy. It's just going to be a lot of, like, just driving by everything. Yeah. Are you trying to say you're bored, Leela? I am trying to say that. I am <laughs> curious about, I am thinking about how much money it costs to be yes. down on a dive. Yes. And I would like to survey in the most efficient way. Yeah. Spend time where time should be spent. Sand. We have had some delays. <laughs> yep. Is Aurea like, no, Leela. <laughs> So some people in the SBL chat also have some great recommendations. There's one on YouTube called Into the Abyss, and it's about chemosynthetic oases. Ooh. Sounds mm. interesting. Chemosynthetic oases. what? Oases? Oh. Yeah. yeah. And another one, it's an old one, I think I've heard of it, The Undersea World of Jacques Cousteau. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I used to be an oceanographer. Yeah. All right, we're going we're gonna to try point, point four. Okay. 
Yeah. This is also, you know, just, I guess, good for me to keep in mind what point four feels like as well. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay. <gasps> Everybody buckle up. Speed. Hold on. <laughs> Strap yourself in. <laughs> It's only going to take half an hour for this to propagate <laughs> down the, uh, <laughs> down Yeah, the that's line. right. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Um, yeah. Fun fact, Brian, one of his professors, apparently knew Jacques Cousteau, like, very well, to the point where he had, like, an unreleased documentary about him. And huh. he was like mentioned in the documentary. Like the professor was mentioned in Jacques Cousteau's documentary. It's wow. really cool. That's yeah. cool. Six degrees of separation that way. Mm -hmm. For and those viewers at home, we're talking a lot about the speed. So the ship is dragging Atalanta through the water, and Hercules <laughs> is kind of just swimming alongside. So that's uh, kind of what we're discussing. And Sometimes with the wind and the waves, the ship can't go super fast, and also we don't want to drag the ROVs, so. And because we're so deep down, is it takes a while for everything to stop, so. It's a kind of, it's a little bit of a game to decide it's the right speed. Thanks, Cheyenne. It's kind of like the price is right. <laughs> <laughs> Another good one that's kind of a, it's less of a documentary, more of a just a spoof movie. Uh, it's a Wes Anderson, Wes Anderson movie called The Life Aquatic with Steven Zissou. Oh yeah, Zizzo. that one is, that one, it, that shit feels like Nautilus to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's such a good entertaining movie. Such a good it's movie. Just, Not a documentary, like, but. seen it a hundred <laughs> times, but yeah. Is it downloaded? Do we know? Oh, that's got to be somewhere on this ship. Somewhere. Okay. somewhere. That. I have yet to see it. That is Me a must neither. see. If you haven't seen that, you have got to watch that's that. That's why I said, is it downloaded? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's going to be on our server somewhere. It's required that's viewing it. for being on Nautilus. <laughs> <laughs> Same with Groundhog Day. That's another required viewing. Because <laughs> every day is Tuesday. Yeah. Every day is Tuesday. <laughs> Well, everyone, we're back to Rockland. Oh, wait, is that like a really big sheep? Yeah. Sheep? Sheet. Sheet, yes. Sheep. Slab. Sheep. Yep. Slab feature. <laughs> <laughs> now we're even getting excited about the rocks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know, Daniel, I know you've so. been excited the whole time. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love rocks. I like. Big ones, small ones, round ones, lumpy ones. Yeah. Angular cantaloupes, especially. <laughs> uh -huh. Those are our favorites. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say they rock? Oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, no, no. no. <laughs> uh -huh. oh, I'm just going to ignore that. I'm just going to follow everything that sounds like a fact with that's a rock fact. <laughs> yeah, how's, how's, what's the report on that, Cheyenne? Moving along. Moving along. Doing good with that, Cheyenne? Yes, the ship's doing really well. Okay, great. Now I can't yeah. get the Bubble Bowl song out of my head, especially <laughs> like the beginning where he's on the piano. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, man. Instant classic. For real. I do a rewatch at some point soon. I think it's on Hulu. I don't know. I'll find it somewhere. Hulu, Amazon Prime. <laughs> Daniel knows. <laughs> Paramount Plus. Find it somewhere. What is this now? I know I paid for one of those. Rewatching SpongeBob. Sorry. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely is on Paramount Plus. I have seen it multiple times on there. I don't have any of those, <laughs> but I'll find it somewhere. Yeah. 
or be old school and buy the DVDs. Oh. <laughs> have that we been, have one of our previous dives been, I'm trying to remember, I think there was one, oh, did we end up pulling it early, that was in a similar hummocky area at the flank of a of a, of a seamount. I'm trying to remember um, if we've been anywhere quite like this. I, mean, I think we have. Today? Um, not today. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Um, um, I'm just thinking because I'm, you know, it's it, yeah. part of what we're doing here is comparing right. between sides of seamounts right, and right. different seamounts. Mm -hmm. And it's it just is interesting, especially in a high flow area, because mm -hmm. oftentimes you will find a lot of fauna taking advantage of these higher current areas. But something is different here. Something is different here. We're seeing not not very much at all, and I, I wonder what it is that's controlling I'm that. really curious about whether there's, like, in fauna, which means things that are under the sediment, but it mm. seems like no, if the sediment's really, really not... I don't know. I'm sure there is stuff in there, yeah. Like, how yeah. much? Yeah. Like, how deep is the sediment? But, how yeah, how down? deep is it right here? Who knows? Yeah. Yeah get a lot of rock. Maybe it's, in my hypothesis, even though it's a lot of marine soil, maybe that's nutritionally deficient out here, like in terms of anything maybe. for them to consume. I don't know. I'm also mm -hmm. curious, I mean, about things that we also can't see that aren't in fauna, yeah. bacteria and stuff. I don't know. Even in these parts, there's very little substrate to attach to, like smaller pebbles or... Yeah not the biggest things for Although you know sometimes when there are big sandy patches you see sea pens other times you don't see any sometimes there are crinoids stock crinoids attached to these little pebbles but this is I mean I've seen coral growing on like teeny tiny rocks why 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 that one you know and <laughs> none of the others why are you so successful huh give up nope. your secret I always liked uh, looking at life that's like on the edge of what's possible for anything to live because their adaptations to do that really yeah. push the limits of what mm -hmm. life can do. Like say extremophiles and like mm -hmm. hot springs or things like that or creatures mm -hmm. down in deep ocean here. That's always so fascinating to me. I don't think I've seen this many rocks in my life. <laughs> yeah. So we're entering a pretty flat area right now. Yeah. Oh, we're we're about 200 meters from the next. Are you saying slope? 0.5? <laughs> <laughs> um, just letting everybody know for everybody's awareness. And this slope is going to be in between the first steep slope we saw and like this very very gentle slope you mean the one right below three yeah are so you suggesting we go faster because <laughs> i would be into it add the turbo <laughs> yeah I'll we can do 0. 0.5 but from, that's the max you know from right. my perspective that's no problem all right let let me check on that <laughs> or oh, can you hear <laughs> it's going to be like really <laughs> it's really a Tokyo Drift situation. Skirt. We're doing it. Woo! <laughs> We're speeding up. Yes. All right. Everyone, leave your buckles yes. on. <laughs> Can you reseed uh, the DVL fix? Oh. Should be right out in front of our Atalanta now. Um. Hmm. 
It looks pretty good from... Like here somewhere, I think, isn't it? Oh, wow. oh no, those ones just came there. Yeah, uh, those are good, yeah. Thank you. Wow. So, I mean, um, we were talking about phylogenetics really briefly earlier, and Steve linked a really cool paper that um, shows that these two Chrysogorgia species are like genetically different by 0.1%, basically, oh. which is really, really small. <laughs> Yeah, um, the two that we thought the, yeah. or that Steve suggested yeah. the earlier Chrysogorgids might be. We had said Chrysis earlier. That was one of the ones he suggested. And then also Stellata, which looks quite similar. Yeah. What would you say percent was that again? 0.1%. Hmm. Um, more specifically, um, I remember, I can't really make that more specific and concise way. Um, but really cool, really cool example of how um, genetically close everything in can be. Exactly, yeah. So where does Steve work? <laughs> uh, Boston. Boston University right now. Right, Steve? Yes. <laughs> Yes, I remember from his box. I, I know that yeah. from his box, but I also feel like there was a recent shift or something, but I could totally be making that up. There are coral experts everywhere. <laughs> um, that's why I'm here. The only <laughs> the coral expert in my the only coral expert in my region is the lab that I was part of, Dr. Eric Cordes. It's good to have an expert aboard, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What got you into coral? <laughs> <laughs> um. So tell us about the coral that we're seeing here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what can you tell us about this? All their you little see, polyps. <laughs> I, we, well, I was more focused on the Atlantic Ocean, and we see here, we're in the Pacific Ocean. Oh, sorry, I was making a joke about right now, right in this <laughs> frame of... <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> um, but I... Let me do... Um, I realize that we always pause when Cheyenne's talking because we're listening right, to Cheyenne, but she's not on SPL. Oh, then. I didn't know that. I, I know, so I always ask. awkwardly pause in the middle and people I had are no all idea. like, why are you not um, talking? Okay, but anyways, I got into coral because I was like, I was initially in a um, phylogenetics lab actually, but it was more um, medicine-based, more human-based, more epigenetics-based, and I was just like, I can't sit at a computer all day, even though that is a lot of what deep sea scientists do. Yes. Um, <laughs> but it was like, I can't sit at a computer all day and look at disease-based stuff. It just wasn't interesting to me. Um, it was a really great start, though. Like, it set me up in a lot of ways and taught me a lot about phylogenetics, which was really great. And the lab was great. It was a great environment. I just didn't... I don't know. I just wasn't interested. So I went around, and I was like, all right, who's open? <laughs> um, and I had... Um, Dr. Cortez is my um, lecture professor for an intro bio class, and I always thought, I was like, hmm, well, genetic, I mean, genetics are still kind of cool. The sea could be cool. So I talked with him, and he was like, yeah, come, come join. That was kind of it. And then I was like, oh yeah, marine stuff is actually kind of cool. And then I kind of delved into the aquatic world from there. Um, but it was more like by certain, um, by chance, it wasn't because being in Philadelphia, there is no ocean. 
Um, <laughs> there aren't really people doing ocean stuff. There is someone who is doing well, Schuylkill doesn't have interesting stuff <laughs> in it. Oh, the <laughs> Schuylkill in the Delaware. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. <laughs> They're very polluted. Yeah, it's not like trash cans. Not to cut you off, but y'all, the way that people in Philadelphia pronounce Skullkill? pretty much everything. <laughs> but even just, if you see the, this river, Schuylkill, oh, yeah. written, Schuylkill is the last way that you would pronounce that. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's also fun one, fun ones like Pashyunk, but it's like Passyunk. Like um, they're they're rooted the in a little bit, mm -hmm. maybe. They're well, rooted in a lot of indigenous um, tribes, um, which is fun. And then a Philly but accent layered on top of that. Yeah, yeah, but it confuses a lot of people, especially um, when you say, the water in the Schuylkill looks really, really dirty today. <laughs> and they're like, what did you just say to me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fun times. Yep. So you go for hoagies instead of sandwiches, right? Hoagie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hoagie. Hoagie. Yes. With yes, Adam. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Where's your favorite Italian place to get Hoagie. a cheesesteak at in Philly? Oh, Lord. My own home. At the Philly Cheesesteak Factory. <laughs> 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 I don't have one. Um, I don't know. My mom makes a pretty darn good cheesesteak. Nice. Um, but you get really good at any corner store and get a pretty solid one. Yeah. Max's is a pretty famous one that everybody mm, goes to, mm -hmm, but, mm -hmm. but yep. theirs are a classic. I like their um, little bar yep. in there. It's got very nice lighting. <laughs> hey, Ooh, what's that? Found oh. something. Sponge. Sponge. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna bring race over to it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, who are you? It's another the, um, the one that we saw earlier. Yeah, some kind of pheromonimited, maybe, maybe polyopagon, but. Mm, I think wow. I'll sit we down. Found I'll try and get you the still camera in there. But yeah, I can go on about Philly food all day. <laughs> uh, I love Philly food. I am big so on Philly food too. Good. Just like the food scene in general it's is like, so good. It's, it's I'm really so good. privileged. Have you ever been to Veg? No, I'm sorry. But I Let's talk go. about this I sponge. Go so bad. But yes, sponge. <laughs> okay, <laughs> one of the, uh, no, yep, afterward. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think that's Polyopagon. Okay, go ahead and zoom in. But I'm gonna, how about we put Pharanemidid question mark here, this is how you spell the yeah. family I'll right move here. The, sub back oh. over. the way I was about to spell it is nowhere near to what it's spelled <laughs> like. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, yeah it's kind of giving... Or maybe... Oh, Steve is typing. Maybe he knows. It kind of looks like a... No. Well, because we're going fast... Kind of... We cannot sample this now. Leela, it doesn't oh, is it like frozen? Oh. oh no, we're just sat down. Okay. Um, it kind of looks like this. Yes, the pharaonimated question mark. Yeah. <laughs> it does. I feel like we need seatbelts. Uh, <laughs> we can't grab and slurp on the fly, right? That's not a no time for that. Uh, I mean, we can have a go at it. Let's Maybe a quick try. Let's okay. stop the ship. Okay. <laughs> Oh, with a two worm on top. Oh, nice. What do you, uh, full wide. What do you want to do with it, Leela? If we could just take a grab and then and then slurp that grab up on the fly. All right, we're holding. Grab and slurp. Grab we're and slurp. Snip and slurp. Roger. The no ship grab. stopped. So let's see. Snag and slurp. Like. Right uh, off the top. So sorry, yeah, just like maybe this top little yeah. chunky bit there would be great. Can they regrow the oh, chunk that you're about to take off? Hold on a sec. Let me see that. Uh, yes. How long that takes, <laughs> not sure. We don't really know. Can you get the bubble cam out over that, Sarah? If we can get another camera over the top. Looks like. See what I'm doing. Maybe. Which is easier said than done because world. that controller is not very good. So why do you only take like a chunk of it instead of just taking the whole thing? Oh, like so it that it could oh. not like that? die. Yeah, that's oh. great. So Ooh. if there's a way easy. to slurp that up. 
I thought we were going to have to like be. break a stick or something. I'm going that. to just shoot back out in front of the. Yep, that's that works. Yeah. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we got okay, that. Okay, and then if you can get that bubble cam down around the porch where the slurp is. Should this be a slider? Saw the one earlier. It was similar question mark. Yeah. What kind of ferronimidate is this? Oh. Yep. So this oh. will be good. Oh, uh, rock. This thing has a mind of its own. Uh, do you need to, the name? Yes, Here. again. There you go. I think it was probably there. like a 10 centimeter chunk. Yeah, something like that's perfect. We are moving. Yeah, now we're rolling. Got it. Oh, now we're getting into the current, too. Great. Oh. Nice. Perfect for slurping. So we're stopped <laughs> on the ship, right? Yeah, we're yeah, stopped. Okay. Do we yeah. know? Adelance is still swinging towards the ship. She yeah. Did you see yeah. which slurp That's fine. jar went into? Um, it has not been slurped yet. Oh, it has not been slurped yet. It's being held. Okay, oh. I'm going to stop here yeah. and put that sample away. Oh. If we could give a good flush for good measure before. Yeah, so Sarah, can you get the the suction jar is up there. It should be on flush. I think I saw that earlier. And then we'll we'll flush it out. Let's see. What sample number is this? A 60. 60, nice. Yes. Which ones? Yeah. yeah. Uh, here, I'll get it a second. Bucket, and then you got a flush. You should see something go on in the jar, usually. Yeah, oh, I didn't see anything. That's see not anything. promising. Okay. So that's at zero, and then uh, rotate. It's not rotating? Rotate. Rot row. Uh-oh. Rotate. Oh my, for God's sake. Did it? It moved a little bit. Oh, okay. That's not very good. Was it sticking? Uh, can you work that? Try and work that back and forth? That's no good. That's no good. So I would record that. Oh. That's not on there yet. Oh, is it misaligned? I don't, I don't now know if too? that's misaligned or not. Try and go back the other way. Tons of current now. Yeah, you can see it whipping by. And um, um, come up on uh, Atlanta. There's a rat tail down there. I want to. 
I would say we can just put it in the in a porch box, but I feel like that might also blow away while we try to do that right now. It's gonna blow away in this yeah, current, probably. Yeah. yeah. Well, we can figure out something here. We'll just yep. get caught up and sit down yep. and figure it out. No worries. But yeah, the current is like I don't even Ripping. think we're gonna get. Well, we're pretty, are we at the top almost? Mm, almost. We're almost at the base of the next wee slope, so maybe it'll let off again when we get there. Yeah. I don't know if we'll actually like make the summit, you know? Right. Might get tossed back around. Would it be, is it generally better higher up? Would it be better closer yeah. to the boundary layer? No? Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know, it's a good question. See, yeah, see if you can. this and cuckoo pay out on this I gotta just keep trying to work those jars there are they moving ag again at all Gotta try and get you like more pressure. Okay, now now if I'm not touching any thrusters, now try again. Oh, that does better, huh? Yeah. Should we try flush? See if that works. Is that the flush jar? Yeah, that's, that's two. That's one now, right? One, one. That's one. Yeah. Okay. So that looks like it's yeah, lined up. Yeah. That's looking pretty good. So now. I guess called flush. I didn't see any action though. No. But that doesn't mean anything. It hasn't been in the dirt or anything. Yeah, I don't. Nothing really in there. Oh yeah, there's something happening there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. So, so try and get it back on the one. Try for one. Yeah. Or you can go, will it not go the other way? No. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, is that why we always start at seven? Really, I thought it, oh, it just won't go. It, we, it we should can, go, no, it, it should go, but okay. it, it won't. Okay, that's lined up. All right. Can note that for them too, Loopy, whenever you're done. It's only spinning in one direction for some reason. And you can put those ones under engineering. Okay. Other. Would it be vehicle? Uh, Our instrument? Yeah, vehicle. Mm -hmm. I got pictures of this. Uh, porch out. Stop. 
still not really very ideal the way it is there. Also, it's really cold inside now. AC definitely working. It That's is great. quite chilly. <laughs> Jeez, I don't know exactly how well that's going to work. Is it trying to suck right now? No. Oh, did we adjust the angle of the slurp mount? Yeah, but it's... Yeah, that looks like it's starting to go in. Yeah. That's a tough spot. That looks nearly impossible what you're trying. Yeah, like that's not set up really. No. Also, it doesn't look like... There it oh, goes. Oh, yeah. nice. That was that's really so skillful, yeah. Fanny. Well, thank you. But that's not... That's handcuffed. That's what you call that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That looks really hard. Can I see the arm in the bubble cam there? Okay, I'm glad it went in there. That yeah, was a bit... I'm shocked. That's going in the red book. <laughs> <laughs> just gotta wait to All see right. It come wait, yeah, waiting for that. I haven't for that. seen it come Almost. down into the bucket yet, though. Nope. Okay, so pump off. Sorry, and can you rotate the jars around once? Uh, oh, he's not even in it there yet. It hasn't gone in yet. No. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> <laughs> I might have to exercise this yeah, thing. Yeah, do a little <coughs> extensions. Someone put the 80s exercise programs on. It's such a nice little holder for it. It's just, you just know, that's a hard angle. It's a little bit it's better, yeah. Little, yeah. Like, hmm. I don't see it in the elbow there or anything. This is so silly looking. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Oh. Is the section all the way up? Yeah, it's at 11. Weird. It looked like it went up pretty smoothly. Hmm. I'm going to try something with the jar there. Yep. You think it is misaligned? Maybe. Technical difficulties, please hold.
right where it was. an update that we're still trying. Yeah, I don't know what else to do with it yeah, there, Leela. The, the only other thing, I could try and dump it in another uh, uh, jar, but I don't think that's the problem. Uh, I think that that's lined up. Yeah, it does look lined up. Yeah, yeah we can in there. We can count the sample and hope that it's in the hose. I don't, yeah, I don't know what else we could slurp to see if we can kick it up there but next time they do try and yeah use do you want to try and put just yeah. a little bit of sand in yeah there? sure it's a good idea why not yeah it's a great idea stuff is so fine anyway it won't bother anything yeah it'll probably just blow right out okay so that's going well not a lot of vigor okay yeah it's kind of no. oh oh wow. oh no vigor no vigor <laughs> If I wonder if it just got the to the sand. end and then it's just stuck. Right. Would putting it up against like, what like is a th rock what if or that's something? It? Where? I was saying, what if that's lined up? No. I feel like they're usually more centered than that. Yeah, now. that's right. I know. But I know this when it's in the middle, it, it is right, but it's not working. I'm, yeah, whatever jar it can go into is great. So if another one lines like, up better. Maybe oh, that. oh my God. What? Hold on. <laughs> if the timing, the, this thing needs, this machine needs to be timed. Like you can, you can put it together improperly, but haven't we been using it? I haven't done any suction samples yeah, yet. Yeah, we've been using it throughout the whole okay. expedition. Okay, so what's up with this? See, there's a little bit of yeah, something coming little, through, but, but it's, it's not, not enough time. to get the sand out of the... Yeah. Huh. Well. Um, okay, well then, we can we can put it away and call it stuck. I don't think that they're going to have much success slurping anything else. Uh, I'm curious uh, about the timing, if I... If if I can yeah, sure. take a couple of minutes. Sure, please See, that's do. going better, see? Are you adjusting the timing and it seems no, to be aligning the, better? No, the timing is like mechanical. It's like you put it together wrong and only one hole lines up and then the other mm. ones start to like less got and less it, lined got up. Got it, got it, got it. We can see so which if my theory is one. correct, if I keep going around, I'll eventually find one that's lined up. Sure. <clears throat> That's not it. Going around is <laughs> harder than it should be. What's that one say? Jellies? Yep, it says sample five. <laughs> Jelly. <laughs> Can I try oh, it? Oops. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing in it. That is that is old. Oh, it's an a old piece table. of tape from yeah. <laughs> sample five. <laughs> Maybe that was supposed to be that first jelly. It w it was. Yeah. Didn't get recovered. Sad. It's a little small. For one. this issue. The alignment issue. So that that one is probably not going to work then. Uh, oh no, that that they uh, since adjusted the alignment. Oh, oh, okay. It was working on subsequent dives. Okay. Oh. Mm. Uh, or it's just really plugged up. Yeah. Man, it must have just went in the wrong Maybe, way. Maybe I know it didn't seem like that big a no. chunk of sponge, but. 
Yeah, like maybe, maybe we, we plugged it up it with the sponge, or maybe it was plugged up from with before. Something but else. I thought that that sponge would just yeah, that rip looks, off. and it moved really fast at first. Yeah. Maybe we can dump it out with water at the end. Yeah. Okay. But it's gonna mess up. It's gonna take this out for the rest of the dive. It is, but I don't know what else to try. No, I just want one. I think I got one more jar to okay. try if I can get it. Yeah. Yeah. But no, they they seem like they're aligned. I think it's plugged up because I've got the oh, same. Oh, that one looks. Yeah, uh, but that's a hundred percent. Like that should. Yeah, just it should be really swirling. And yeah. the sand, the sand is not even moving. That's crazy. No, that's right. I don't know. You can't like regurgitate it, right? No, no. it doesn't work Man. like that. No, but I, I really don't think that that sponge would have plugged it unless it got stuck somewhere really weird. Or unless it got sucked in so fast that it somehow like folded up and I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> yep. A job for engineers to go sifting through. Hmm. And are these tanks, I notice on the ROVs, is it located at the top of Hercules? It is, yeah, in the top middle of the bumper bar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that this sand is, is just sticking. This is useless. Okay, <laughs> put this away. Okay. Um, so, Loopy, if you could mark on the Herc diagram mm -hmm. that the flush. You got is that all noted in the log? Out of commission. Uh, Slurp fail. Yeah, I would like note here, okay. like top ten flush of all dives. Just kidding. Or sorry, not the flush slurp. It's not that bad. Yeah, and maybe start a little higher. So give ourselves a little more room. Ooh, um, some sort of wormy on the Adelina. slurp clogged question mark. Uh, and I would log this as a sample and say that it should be stuck in the slurp uh, tube somewhere. And out all the way. Hmm. Well, sorry, folks. That was much longer of a detour than I thought that it would be. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, quick grab. We'll just slurp that right up. Woohoo. Well, we're passing time. That's for one. Yeah. There's quite a lot of technique operating a, robot, a robotic arm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not... Uh, and, and this one has these really like silly jaws on. These are not. They're kind of trying to do two things at once, but they make everything hard to do. But Hannaford makes everything look easy. Well, <laughs> you didn't see me doing push cores the other night. <laughs> <laughs> First time in two years. <laughs> really? I couldn't that was, remember that like. Was uh, yeah. No ONC push cores. That was funny. Well, it's all it's all muscle memory, right? Like yeah. you have to remember like how you do it, and then it's kind of easy. And then anyway, I did not remember like how to go after him. I was making a mess. That of it. was some tough sediment, though. Yeah. Oh, they were gonna fall out anyway. But just yeah. me trying to get them back in the quiver, I was oh. like, oh, it's a disaster. Yeah. <laughs> oh okay. man, you should have seen. Porchin, yes, thank you. Poor. Uh, whenever you're, you're ready, Michael. We can also get going again. Shall yeah, we? start to ship. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, but oh. when we had uh. Joan Berenfeld from Huey out on the ship in Santa Barbara Basin doing um, foraminifera studies. We were taking cores, but we were incubating them for 24 hours. She actually had a tube that came off of this specially designed core. You could, first you had to place the core, then you had to squeeze the bulb on the end of the tube to, to put RNA later, in, which would then percolate through the core. Oh. And then you would leave it, or sorry, you leave left it for 24 hours, then squeezed the bulb, and then picked it up, and uh, and this was in like so Santa Barbara Basin is like the the sediment is like like 80 percent water. It's like it just it's so floofy and gelatinous and impossible to core and. I just remember Bob especially always getting tasked with having yeah. to pull these cores out that had been sitting there for 24 hours, so much time and effort, RNA later invested in these cores and had <laughs> to like you know, get one shot to pull it out and put it perfectly in the quiver. It was just nice. madness. I vaguely remember that. Well, yeah, we had the big 
basket of cores on the front. Was that the same thing? Uh, but I remember the RNA later bit. I don't know if I was on the same cruise or a different one okay. with it or something. But maybe it was. No, I this this was I think when maybe when we were first out together. Yeah, yeah. There's so the, like the one with the really hectic like four hour turnarounds. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 That was madness. Something on the top there, but it looks like a dead skeleton. Yeah. So, uh, moving the ship forward at point three knots, we can increase. We are increase. We are going. We're at the base of the at slope the base, now, yeah. so Let's we stay can stay point three, three for, yeah. for now. Yeah. Uh, maybe just for a bit till yeah. there's a little bit of steep stuff anyway. <laughs> Everybody get we're ready. We're getting there. <laughs> it's gonna be so exciting. <laughs> we're going. We're going. So much igneous rock. Oh, oh, a coral. bamboo, oh. or or maybe not. Wow. Maybe some other coral. Let's zoom on it. Mm -hmm. Another little guy to oh. the left. And a Chrysogorgia. Yeah. Oh yeah, multiple. No. Okay, go ahead and zoom in. Uh, bamboo. Uh, bamboo. Hard to see. I think. Still uh, pretty. Uh, I think bamboo. Atlanta's pretty far away. Uh, it's a bit yeah. shaky here. Mm-hmm. I think so. Yep. Yes, I saw one. A line. Oh. Hooray! Nice. That is uh, internodal branching. Thank you. Beautiful. Do you want to see any of the little ones there? Oh. I think they're we're, we're good there. Those are the crisis. Oh, falling oh. Okay. star. He but yeah, if you want to write the Chrysogorgias, yeah. Chrysogorgia oh, crisis or stellata. Stars. Uh, you just uh, oh, sea stars falling out of the water. Mm -hmm. I didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> How's the exposure looking over there? Well, it was number one overexposed, number two blurry. Uh, <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we live and learn. <laughs> That was a rough one. Eh? It's we were too so far away turn up moving the around ISO too much for that. And then maybe one down on the on the exposure. The shutter speed is okay. just painfully slow. I was going to say, it was like one six. I know, and I was but like turning up the ISO helps sometimes. Okay. Um, I would leave it at like 2,000. Yeah, that's fine. And you could go down one. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's at one third. <laughs> God, it's just it's It was at one oh, six. Okay, put F stop. Uh, to a lower value, okay, which will be up. Up. What's that? Uh, and then. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and we then maybe down one or two on the exposure. Okay. Yeah, it's just painful. Yeah. I'm very excited to get in that bottle and fix that. It's gonna be great. <laughs> All of our life's problems solved. Man, but it's still looking pretty, I mean, on a macro scale, looking pretty. So rocky. when you are focusing, make sure you, that you focus like right before taking the picture, otherwise mm -hmm. it's gonna be whatever, a previous yeah. focus. Yeah, 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 I do. Yeah, it's also, you. it's hard w to, to get a good grasp on, because when we're further away, the exposure yeah. looks way different than Yeah, I got close. it. So I've been getting it. That one just the shutter speed was so low so that it low, just wouldn't yeah. it would But getting like good on at the it. set it and forget it when I let it leave it for intervalometer, I try yeah. and set the settings for when we're closer up and then like yeah, when we're flying yep. higher those might be not well exposed yeah, right. but 
prioritizing when we're there, the others. We're good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Makes sense. Like we're going at moving at seventy five degrees now, and we come down a little bit. I think. Another Chrysogorgia in the sun. Yeah. Right. Maybe this should is the we densest coral community we've seen yet. So to say, <laughs> should we maybe get a sample of it if that's what we're seeing? Or the coral? Yeah. Um, Cause maybe, because I mean, we really haven't been seeing any others. What kind of a spot are we in, Michael? I think I can get this. Yeah. You want this one? Yeah, not the whole thing, but a snip of. 10 centimeters of it or so off the top. Hey, Cheyenne. Is Steve still on with us? I don't think so. Yeah, and there's like nothing. We've seen it. We saw it earlier, it. and we're seeing it now. It's one of the few things that's been consistent. Yep. That's why I was like, now, before we lose it. Oh. oh. Can you show me oh, the arm and the bubble here? cam? You just give it a little haircut? Mm, yeah, I don't know what that is. Are we looking? No, that's not. The tether, it looks like, what is that dangling off of? Oh, we'll turn know. to the right and look. <laughs> oh, so small. Like this much? Uh, I mean, that's about 10 uh, centimeters. A little more? <laughs> it's gonna be yeah. like the whole thing. <laughs> Half. That's good. Oh, I think it's, whatever that string thing was is not there anymore. Maybe it was on the arm. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> uh. Got some of it in the jaws. Uh. Uh. That can oh. go in the front box. Open the front. front box. Uh, oh no. Okay, uh. that's okay. Okay, box out. box out. All right, so around a 10 centimeter snip. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, sorry, Sarah, the front one. Oh. Toolbox. I don't know why we call it a uh, toolbox. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think you're the only one I know that calls it the toolbox. Me? Yeah. <laughs> Does Bob call it toolbox? It, I think it says toolbox on the GUI or something. Really? Kind of cool. This is Chrysogorgia. Oh yeah, and it's one of these two. Yep. That I wrote in the chat. Okay. Oh no 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 no. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Sticky. Bad robot. <laughs> uh, there you go. And then I would note on the Herc diagram that that it's a floaty sample. <laughs> Come on. Well, it's in for the ride. <laughs> Just wants to come along. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, in there. Hmm. Come on. Wow. Well, oh. Oh, no. Maybe I had to scrape it off. Uh -oh. I don't know how. That's like really wedged into a groove. Yeah. But what really if it just there. stays attached and when we come up, it's still there. We could just snag it off. Well, we're going to be taking other samples, I think, between now and yeah. then. Yeah. <laughs> um. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Maybe that's annoying. It's not actually the end like of the world if we don't get this chunk into the box. Can I go ahead and submit this since it's already technically in the box? <laughs> what was that, Loopy? Can I go ahead and submit this since it's already some of it's already in the box? Maybe if you. S <laughs> oh wow. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Go submit it. That's fine. Can't slurp either. No. Yeah. Man. Um. Have you tried scraping the other way, like to the to the right? To the right, yeah. If I can get it on here, maybe some opposite direction action. No. We are having great luck. <laughs> <laughs> At we got some. You know, we're working out the kinks for, uh, for the future next watch. Maybe it'll come out. Yeah. We can call it with that for now. That's all right. Yeah. All right. And that'll Close just come up. out when it comes out. So do the parts that we sample from, do they ever grow back on the coral? I wouldn't say, like, necessarily I know that they grow back, but they continue to grow despite the fact that this chunk is missing. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So they'll still be alive. Yes. Get the bubble cam back on the gauges. Corals are super resilient, actually. So um, sampling these is actually not too terrible for them. Were we still moving during all that, or did we hold? We no, held. We held. <laughs> we held, okay. I was like, wow. <laughs> it took a long time for that to, that shit move. Oh, there's something. Oh, yeah, that is a dead uh, something. Up on Atlanta. Um, right. Yeah, th that, I don't know. Oh, sorry. No, we were good. just looking at that dead something. Might be another one of those Not sponges we saw there. earlier. Man, so much dead. Yep. Wonder why. Well, you know, you, there's going to be more dead than living because it's it's yeah. it sticks around for a long <laughs> right, time, right, so right, it's just right. kind of accumulating. Huh? Dead parade again, I think. Yeah, it's a cool pattern. Okay, go ahead, zoom in. Yep. Oh yeah. 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 It's a cool one, though. Yeah, it's really Branching. intact. Okay, thank you. Cool. Can okay. keep, keep on up. Full wide. Do you have an idea of, like, what may cause some of these to die? Or is it just uh, they reach their lifespan and they... That's a great question. I don't know. I don't know if maybe, it's... Maybe, yeah, maybe really big current. Some weird event, some kind of turbidity current or rock fall Something kicks them off their perch. Anything I weakening the base, but I don't know the answer to that question. I'm sure there are better answers to that. <laughs> on this dive. Lots yep. of rocks. Um. Lots of cool rocks. <laughs> yeah, they are pretty cool, literally. Hmm. Actually, how cold is it down this part of the ocean? That's a great question.